Hello and welcome to episode 2 of our brand new Perfect Hour 2 series. I made a mistake, not a mistake, but I click on the mine building and the tutorial appeared. So I had to record. Let's go through it. I'll click real quickly, they don't say much. So I'll talk about the mine a little bit. We'll go back to it later in the video. Um, only thing I'm gonna show is the drill and also the skill. So good detector. This will show one tile if there's something there or not. This will save a lot of resources if you're really poor. When you uh, go in higher level um, parts of the mine, I'm going to show that. Collapsing tunnels. Install automated drill that passively drills an amount of equal to 30 seconds of irregular drill per hour. I'll put a worker on this anyways on the drill. Expands the tank volume of the drill by 10 for each drill power of fuel usage upgrade. Increase the drill power by 10% for each tier of the mine. I know it starts abruptly, but allows the mine to continue producing resource shards while the game is close at 100%, 150% instead of 100%. And uh, increase all resource shards and gem rewards by 100%. This one's pretty good too. Um, yeah, it does start abruptly. Uh, normally, uh, normally I show a run or something, but yeah, so I'm getting these three right now and I'll attribute. So I've been, look, I got 12.5 million normal resources. That's just because I ran the game on endless, remember, and I put it on idle, right? For many, many hours. That's why I have so much, well, I have so much in the circumstances. I just started playing, right? Um, so what happens though is I'm going to run out of fuel if I don't put a worker on this. And um, no, I'm going to upgrade drill power, tank volume and fuel usage. Then I'll show you the mining, the mining process later in the video because the way I do it here, I, I click around too much. I don't like uh, the clip. I'll upgrade the stuff, but I'll go much further um, later in the video. In fact, let's go to the factory directly. We'll come back to this. You might wonder, what the hell is he doing? That's because every time I click on something, there's a tutorial. We're starting the game, so that was the first time I visited the factory, which I built last episode, right? And uh, we're not gonna touch it very much, as I explained in episode 1, if you're watching it back to back. I don't have access to much, because it's only tier 1. So I can make tier 1 producers uh, with stuff that I buy from the shop. And I'm gonna let you read this tutorial stuff if you want to, okay? And then uh, I'll make a few producers, tier one producers. You might wonder why. Uh, I, I don't think it's really gonna help that much, but I'm going to make a mistake in this uh, video, unfortunately. I'm supposed to be experienced in this game, but we all make mistakes. <laughs> You'll see. If you're a veteran, you're allowed to, to laugh at my mistake, but I maybe I lost an hour because of that. You'll see what I mean. So let's attribute some resources because I'm sort of rich for a, you know, new, uh, uh, for being in the new safe file. I was about to say noob. <laughs> well, I might seem like a noob with a mistake I'm going to make. Then I just check because I don't remember the recipes, right? So I said, okay, this is a recipe for a producer. So I need two plates and, uh, you know, screws, but this is tier one, so I can't make machines to build stuff in the factory you build stuff and i'm going to show you all of that uh, in the future but there's a shop where you can buy certain parts so i'm just gonna show you you know once you know for the brand new players okay so you would just you know put it exactly the way the recipe sh shows you i'm right clicking by the way to separate let's say i have two if i right click it splits the stack in two you right click like this right click and you Spits it and here's a producer. Tier one is very weak, of course. And here's an achievement. Wow! So I have a tier one producer, and it's gonna give me a whopping 0.25 resources per second. Amazing. Factory skills, faster machines, increase the production speed of all machines by 50%. We'll look at machines in the future. Infinite rubbers double the stack of uh, stack limit of all shop items and halves the refill time also re refill time of the rubber something about the rubber doubles or output from shard refining again I'll explain all that I don't even know if it's going to be in this episode advanced refining reduce the basic refining time 
which are from 5 seconds to 2 seconds, allows you to automatically fill the contents of the crafting grid with the requirement of selected recipe, very useful, and increase the resource production by 2% for each unique item inside the production grid. Any more tutorials? Can I play the game now? And now it's time to spend all my resources on my muzzles. And if you see a star, it means it's maxed out. The limit goes higher later, but let's focus on getting all I can to the max. This will be able to go further in endless mode and of course unlock MT2. So I'm swapping stuff around. I'm at 14 out of 15. I did probably increase the workshop um, tier somewhere without recording. I can't record everything anyways. I'm trying not to skip too much. Somebody did ask me not to skip too much, but uh, we'll have half hour videos every time. So I'm just gonna speed this up once again. I'm about to meet one of the two requirements for MT2. Just maxing out everything. I got more than enough resources as you can see right now. No problem. So everything is maxed out and I can max out. 10 muzzles maximized and now I gotta do another region. So let's do it. Region 2 is the desert, okay? And all I have to do is unlock three regions by killing, uh, killing or finishing this uh, region, wave 100, I unlock the third region. Therefore, I can now go MT2 and just unlock five muzzles. Energy, energy regeneration, simple heal, granite foundation, electricity burst. The energy thing is certain, um, certain muzzles are abilities. That's why you need energy and energy regeneration. I'll be using this in the future, but not right now. Here I'm looking at Granite Foundation. I don't find it very attractive because yes, it has a lot of health, but it reduces, um, it increases the cooldown of between my attacks by 70%. Early in the game like this, what's your opinion on this foundation? By the way, you can combine multiple to have more health. Now it's time to tear up and we'll be stuck with more tutorial. I don't mind it that much. It just slows me down a little bit. I want to blast through the game, go so fast. So let's tear up. It's going to give me 169 blue gems. They have multiple users, including, as I explained, in uh, when you do tower testing, you can, instead of, instead of spending XP, you can spend blue gems. They're also useful for workers. And I'm giving you a clue about a mistake I'm about to make, which not it's not going to kill me, but it's just, come on, man, why did I make this mistake? So military perks. Every time you tear up, you get a military perk. There are... 15 military tiers, like I explained, so there's 15 military perks. Um, so, uh, you have three choices for now. Let's read the green. Starting from next military tier, your modules will not reset if they are tier 1. Okay, they will not reset. <laughs> so that's the best choice in my opinion. Second best choice, not, not this one. This one doubles the amount of worker slots. For some idiotic reason I decided to go with this makes no sense because I don't have enough blue gems to buy workers I don't know what I was thinking but it's not the end of the world I'm just gonna lose maybe an hour when I go MT3 increase town XP gain from tower testing by 1% for each skill point invested into a building skill so I would go um, module XP and then the last one improve conditions or maybe you can invert improve condition and XP depending on many blue gems you have but there's a way to make blue gems in the mine I'm going to show you that later, but I realized right away that I made a mistake because I'm so used to have inf basically infinite blue gems, infinite. Okay, workers will do tasks for you. They will automate the game for you. So that's why I thought, okay, I'm, you know, I'm going to start with workers. But I didn't realize that when I'm going to tear up, I have to start over from zero. Uh, all my modules are pathetically low. I have no money, no nothing, because when you tear up, you lose all your resources. So, you know, it's gonna take me maybe an hour or something when I go MT3. I'll live, but I was silly. <laughs> so, uh, over time, you get a lot of workers. They help you automate the game. Um, they do all sorts of things. For instance, what I wanna do, I'm gonna make a drill operator. It's gonna run the drill, refill the gas tank, and it's gonna run all the time. You can also use your worker to your workers to mine that I shouldn't right now here I'm just showing that you know I only have access to one type of shards but eventually I have a lot of workers and all they are going to be me mining so I'm going to change this by the way uh, to the drill and there's only the slow mode I was a bit surprised again 
uh, the slow medium and fast if you look at the bottom right to unlock medium i need 1000 blue gems and i forgot about that it's been too long the group thing seems new i'm not sure but you can uh, color code it so in, for instance everything that's related to the man i can give it a color uh, because eventually you have so many workers that you get disoriented and which worker is in the mine the factory or other buildings that we'll look at in the future you know last episode i promised to go with uh, a skin i chose lava so this way my town will look different from the original series the first time i put money in this game wasn't very expensive and now it's the lava skin as i told you when you tear up your um because i don't have the right thing my um modules will reset to zero okay so remember that they used to be maxed out now i recovered it took me a little bit of time it's really not bad as i said it takes maybe an hour something like that an hour of active gameplay i just let it run and the same way i played in episode one but now I'm because I'm in MT2, you see basic regeneration too. So you can, uh, I can now have tier two modules. Okay, so t for them to be maxed out, I have to max out within a tier two. So it's going to take me a lot of resources. Good news is I can make a lot of progress in the game. So we can go in in a new region. Uh, for MT3, I need. I think 25 maxed out module at tier 2 and I think 5 regions unlock. Not bad at all, in fact we'll do it today. Not a problem. So this is region 3, winter. I'm gonna start it and I'm just gonna show you the end. I'll clear this and I don't remember if I clear the next region. But let's remember that the further I go, when I go in endless mode, I make way more resources, therefore idling makes me richer and I'll idle a lot. I'll explain why a bit later. So it auto reset because it was on, but I still got all the muzzles. So that's what we get. We get basic shield. Oh, the shield is very strong. Water resistance. That's it. Okay. Basic shield is very strong compared to what I have in terms of health. Right now it doesn't uh, recover, but there's ways to make it recover later. But right now my basic shield, when it gets hit, it uh, depletes all the way to zero you'll see that probably so i'm looking for something to replace i'm removing all the resistances right now now when you go in a region you, you want to use the, the resistances matching the type of enemies there are but at the beginning of the game like this it really doesn't matter at all to be frank so i'm gonna go with dps instead you know uh, so i went with earth attack and electricity burst I could have gone fire attack if I wanted to. I don't have that many options. I got 800,000 normal, uh, normal uh, or the white resources. But again, though, it's very, it's, it's very expensive. See, it just barely went up uh, tier two. But again, it's going to be easy to make a lot of money. So now let's see if I can go and beat region four, which is underground. That's the beginning of it. Isn't there an achievement there or secret thing? I don't remember. Maybe I'm in the wrong place. Anyways, let's move forward to the end. No problem. Nice and smooth. We're going to beat it. Everything's on easy so far. I could try medium in a lower area. Did you notice how much shield I have? It's going to get higher than this one. I max it out. Yes, we'll max out our modules today because we'll reach MT3. Back to town. Workshop. 1.27 million but you know it's not enough i really have to let it run for several hours in idle mode now the basic shield will be maxed out it's going to give me a, in, in tier one i mean of course i gotta go tier two i'm gonna get tons of uh, shield i'm gonna show you that let's try region five why not let's go as far as possible region five look i got two million shield for a new game that's a lot we just started by the way, what I'm showing you is part of the same gaming session. All I'm skipping is the in-between uh, in between runs. Unfortunately, I'm not able to clear the volcano yet, but there's so much more that I can improve on my uh, blueprint because nothing is maxed out to tier two. But now I'm gonna have to go in idle mode and start farming for tons of resources in my sleep or while I'm away. 
So I go region 4, endless, launch, and let's see how far I can get. We'll reach in the 180s, and then all I have to do is go idle. I'm gonna go idle for a while because I was building episode 1 and not able to make progress. And we already have 15 minutes worth of footage, and there's more I want to show you. Anyways, uh, I get air armor. So every element, you get an armor for it, of course. And I um, went back to the mine for some reason. Oh, it's because I ran out of resources there. Yeah, for sure. So I'm going to need resources for the drill too. See, that's my worker here doing this. I didn't touch anything. This is where I went idle. And I don't know how many hours I went idle, but I want to say... 12 plus 16 hours i'm not sure a long time because i'm gonna make tons of resources check this out 28 billion by the way my voice might sound different because this part of the voiceover was done another day <laughs> uh, okay i've been very busy okay so i'm gonna give you a little trick if you want to get a lot of modules because each area has a certain amount of modules that it can give you what you do, you go auto restart, you go endless mode, and you let it run. And look at that, I got a bunch of um, of muzzles. So when there's a high amount of muzzles left to be gotten in an area, that's what I do. I just let it run with auto uh, reset. 